Welcome to Wild World News. So a lot of you don't know this, but um, I had actually contemplated moving to Australia at one time. I was looking for a nice change. I knew they have great weather over there in certain areas. And just beautiful landscapes, and nature, and then I thought about it and I realized that they have, next to Africa, the most dangerous animals on the planet, and the scariest. This article came out, we're doing some wild world news here, where it says, a rescued spider is the size of a pug. I know how big pugs are. Okay. I can't believe this shit. Let's check this out. Says the incredible photo. Hold on. The incredible people who rescue animals. I know it's like my mind wanted to say photo because you guys see this shit on the screen. I mean, this is. The incredible people who rescue and rescue animals for a living take part in all kinds of crazy rescues. But one woman in Australia topped them all when she rescued Charlotte the spider last year. Of course, they would name it Charlotte. A woman who runs Betty's Barnyard Rescue received word that someone had a spider they were trying to kill, but not just any spider. The spider later named Charlotte, is possibly Charlotte, North Carolina, which is anonymously the name of my daughter, who is now the current WWE Women's Champion. Yeah. Woo! Sorry about that. It's possibly the biggest huntsman spider to ever be photographed. The woman rescued, this is making me itch, the woman rescued Charlotte from being killed and then released her on the rescue's farm. Lord, she released it on her own farm. <laughs> Huntsman spiders are typically about five inches across. That's, okay. And are not considered dangerous at all. Charlotte may look scary, but really, she just wants to live a safe and happy life. She was a beautiful, calm spider, not aggressive in any way. And like most spiders, she just wanted to go about her business eating bugs and living in peace. The rescue wrote in its Facebook page, she doesn't, she didn't or doesn't need to be killed. Poor spiders are so misunderstood. Many people who saw Charlotte's picture recently were absolutely terrified, but rescuers at Barnyard Betty's rescue know that the animal deserves love and care, even if they look different or scary. All creatures, great and small, are welcome here at Barnyard Betty's rescue. A safe haven, no matter how you look, the rescue road. Well, that's nice of them, and I, I definitely believe them, you know. People are scared of what they don't understand, and, but my God, that is terrifying. You know, it's as big as like a king crab, it looks like, or something. I don't know. You know, they say crabs are the spiders of the sea. I mean, these, that thing is, that is absolutely incredible. And if, see, that's the problem, okay? If I go to Australia and I see that in my house, I won't be in my house anymore. That's the thing. And I just, I've seen the video of the guy trying to catch the spider in his house. That was on the ceiling, remember you trying to catch it in the damn big ass Tupperware bowl? Yeah, I've seen that, and I'm just like, you know, I... You know, and you know, Lana was here the other day, you know, Lana told y'all she's got a, um... She's got a, a cousin in Australia, she was telling me how, like, they were going somewhere, and, uh... You know, she said, like, there's, these, there's a spider on the window of the car. And she was like, you should have seen how big it was. And, he was just like, yeah, it happens all the time. And I'm just like, happens all the fucking time? <laughs> nah. 
You know, like I got the if I you know if I did, I'd have to live somewhere. But see, here's the problem. See, I like nature. I I, I ain't the guy that needs to live in the sticks, but I like to have a nice backyard, some you know, a couple of trees or so, and you know, trees and bushes and shit is where animals like to hang out. And man, I, you know, sometimes I'm wondering like certain places are so infested with dangerous animals, like just just. You know, okay, they said this one isn't, but I have seen stuff talking about other stuff in Australia and I'm and in Africa in certain places and I'm just like these certain places you aren't meant to live. Humans just weren't meant to live. You think of cave humans, you ain't got nothing but rocks and sticks. And, you know, some animals can rip you limb from limb or just poison you. I mean, I don't man. Just some areas ain't meant for man to live in, as far as I'm concerned. But I do plan on visiting Australia one of these days because uh, I've always wanted to visit, so I got to visit. But post comments down below. <laughs> Let me know what you think of this. How many of you would pet Charlotte? That's what I want to know in the comment section. As far as I go, fuck no. Okay? One million subscribers. Woo! You may now subscribe.